What's up YouTube, Shakai the Gun Guy here, and today we're going to be doing a versus battle between some of the guns that I have. We're going to be comparing our longer barrels, um, then we're going to be doing a competition with our shorter barrels, and also we're going to be doing a competition with our handguns. Alright, so, but before we get into that, cut into the intro. So up first, we have our handguns. Now, before we get into these bad boys, I will tell you that these were randomly selected. I literally did any, meeny, miny, mo. And with that being said, that means that there may be a gun that I own that I would prefer in a certain situation other than the gun that I have here. But let's get into these guns. So on the left, right here, you have your Canic TP9 SFX. And this gun is great. It comes standard with the red dot sight, my Vortex, and it's very comfortable in your hand, like I always say. Next, we have Old Reliable, got the Glock 19, and again, it has its name for a reason. This is Old Reliable. <laughs> Not that I named this gun Old Reliable, but, you know, those things are pretty much indestructible. And I also have right here... The Chrome Delta Elite. And this gun, I don't even like to touch it. I think it's so beautiful. I don't want to get my crummy hand prints on there. <laughs> All right. Now, with seeing those, so which one would I consider the best out of these? All right, so that is a that is a, you know a pretty uh, tough one, um, but I'm but go ahead and give it to the Glock. Again, this thing you know it runs you know um, it's very reliable. I I can't say enough great things about this gun, um, and I I pretty much trust it. Um, and this is my everyday carry gun. So yes, between my handguns that I have here, out of Mechanic there, my Delta Elite, and the Glock here, I will go with the Glock. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the next category. All right, so up next, we have our shorter barrels, and this, I would say, would be my hardest, hardest choice out of the three. Um, because, hey, I will tell you guys that as far as shooting, the Micro Draco with my blade folding pistol brace is one of my favorite guns. That does not discredit the other two. I just love my mini Draco. I just do. You know, I also love my translucent AR pistol with the adjustable magnifier. And this gun is my own flavor mixed with a little bit of Call of Duty. <laughs> And next, we have our AR-15 pistol, another one with the light on it, the hand extension, has a nice sight on there, mag pull grip, 
and the pistol brace. So, um, all around, which gun would I consider the best? Um, and if I'm going to use one, I'm going to go with Blitzkrieg here. Um, I literally built this um, for home defense. Again, has the light, hand extension, nice side on there, mag pull grip, and a pistol brace. Um, I feel like, you know, if there was ever any type of situation where it's home defense or self-defense, I would grab this before I grab the Draco or the translucent AR pistol. So we're going to give it up for Blitzkrieg. Woo! And we're going to uh, go to our longer barrels. Last but not least, we have our longer barrels. Um, we have our translucent AR-15. Um, it has the Magpul grip here and the Magpul stock. And this gun is one of my favorites too. All right, next we have the IWI Uzi right here. And this gun, it's actually a bit heavier than it looks. And I don't I wouldn't say that the heaviness is a, you know, a downfall on the gun. Um I just believe that it would be a little bit lighter than it is, but don't get me wrong, shooting this gun is a lot of fun. And who doesn't really want an Uzi? And last but not least, we have my son's Cricket. And the thing about these ones are that the top two are chambered in 22 long rifle. And the bottom here, um, this is 5.56 five, or 223. Um, whichever one you want to uh, put in your AR-15. I put 5.56 five, in this. Um, I've always have, but you know, you can put 223 in there. So we got 22 LR at the top, and we got 5.56 five, slash 223 at the bottom. So um, a lot of people with hearing that would pretty much say this one is a no-brainer um, so yes I will definitely give it to my translucent AR-15 and this gun is really fun to shoot um, a lot of people haven't seen anything like this so you know whenever I'm shooting it or they see it they're just in awe that there's anything like this possible um, but um, I really got this Uzi um, first because I saw it, I had to have it. Um, I just really wanted an Uzi. I didn't have one. Um, got this for a really good deal. Um, so this I would this Uzi I would pretty much consider that more or less as a showpiece um, range toy, which whatever you want to call it. Um, and lastly, um, I think I like that cricket um more than the uzi <laughs> um for some reason i maybe it's because like i'm more excited that my son will be able to shoot it one day maybe that's why um but i really like that little gun like i know it's a kid's gun but like i really you know enjoy shooting that gun um but that is it between my shorter barrels, my handguns, and my longer barrels. Um, if you have anything like any of these guns, let me know in the comment section below. But well, I really appreciate you for watching. 
I really hope you enjoyed my little competition in between my longer barrels, my shorter barrels, and my handguns. Again, I really appreciate you for stopping by. If you could do me a favor and hit that like button, uh, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. It's Shakai the Gun Guy wishing you a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'm out.